Hi, and welcome to Anne Marie's Workshop. My name is Anne Marie, and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy or watch people make things with joy, you have found the right place. Please like, subscribe, and share. Today is my January makes video. I've made a few things that I think turned out very well. I think you'll be very interested in the new designer that I ex specifically sewed this January. Her name is Veronica Tucker. Now, as you can see, we're still under construction, <laughs> getting ready to paint, um, but uh, keep pace and hold on and we will be back to, well, maybe our regular studio. We'll see. Anyway, so let's get started. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I came across Veronica Tucker, but I'm, I believe it's through the fold line. I watch them every Sunday morning because they do a, um, they introduce patterns, international patterns um, on a Sunday. And I like to um, watch them and see what's new. Um, it's not that I don't find the top, um, the big four pattern companies or the big one pattern company particularly interesting, but I find I am having less and less choices as far as repetition, um, as far as style. And um, other than the Nomi brand, I am not really finding anything that piques my interest. So I like to watch the fold line. I recommend it to you too, um, to see what's available out there. And because I'm not scared of a PDF, it just kind of opened my whole world. Now, Veronica Tucker is an Australian designer. She only has on her site, I believe, maybe six patterns of which I've bought all six. Um, I've sewn five. Um, the last one I'm saving uh, for a very special friend uh, when she happens to need one that works with being expecting. The reason she caught my attention is everything is very romantic. Everything's very feminine. Um, I love a big sleeve. I love a beautiful fabric. I love a simple outfit. I know you don't believe that, <laughs> but she has everything I like. So let me show you some of the things that I made. Now, this first pattern I made is called the Odette, and I will show you somewhere on this screen what it looks like in, per in person. It is a beautiful design. I'm apple shaped, thick in the waist, and as you can see, it's a beautiful uh, go out dress, special occasion dress, invited to a wedding dress. Um, I could even see it in evening, I can see it in velvet. Um, I did it in this beautiful fabric that I got from the buckets in Pings <laughs> that you buy by the pound. I know, I know. I know, but some of the um, details on this dress that I love are the stitch down sleeve head. I know this wrinkled fabric, um, iridescent fabric, makes it hard for you to see it, but these are tucks in the sleeve heads. And it's that kind of attention to detail that I think is so beautiful. Also, this little tie at the back to keep the dress on your shoulders because it is a deep V in the front. The deep V really works well for me because I have a shortish neck and I love a, um, a V, not too deep, not too revealing. It's a high waist um, bodice, which is great for me because the dress magically skims out over my belly. And um, what you'll need for this dress is lining, an invisible zipper. Um, I can't remember how much, probably about five yards because the skirt is quite substantial. Now, you can make this skirt in one fluid piece. As you can see by my dress, um, I had to um, piece together my uh, skirt because um, my skirt wasn't wide enough. Now, the method she chooses is she folds it at like a 45 degree angle, the complete, the complete fabric with selvages out, she folds it in a 45 degree angle and then you cut it on that fold, which gives you a lovely bias drape, but it would not work for this pattern, this fabric because there's, it, there is an inherent grain line in this um, fabric that could not be um, overcome. But as you can see by how beautiful the dress is, it's not too much of a stretch. Now this dress does have pockets, 
which is a wonderful thing. You can slip your uh, your little items in there so you don't have to carry a purse if you don't want to carry a purse. Um, I just think overall, it's a beautiful dress. It's well done, well designed, and indicative of her talent as a designer. Now, as you know, I have been having a love affair with this three-dimensional sheer fabric that I have bought from Timu. Um, I have done it in a vibrant color. I've done it in a solid black. And this is the pastel blue. I, I only have one more piece. <laughs> and it is, I did this in one of my favorite patterns as a kimono to go over the dress behind me. So let me show you that favorite pattern. It's in my favorites book because I sew it all the time. Okay, it is the Vogue, hold on, I'll be back. It's the Vogue 1735. It is my go-to pattern for a cover over. I've made it as a dress that opens in the back, opens in the front, I've made it as a jumpsuit. Um, it just really works on my body. So I made this cover over. I'm hopefully you're seeing it on somewhere on this screen. And um, it turned out so beautifully. So what I ended up doing is I ended up edging the kimono with this same fabric that I had gotten from pings to tie them both together. I'm pretty sure I could wear this over like a white jumpsuit or or something denim or something for like an arty uh, event, like if you were going out somewhere like that. This catch um, is a Timu, I think it's, um, maybe a dollar something. And so I turned it into a catch. I um, pulled it apart, added a um, hook, added an eye, and made it a catch for um, this kimono. But it's beautiful. My favorite part are these sweet little, these sweet little three butt uh, flowers here. I don't know why, I just find them just so beautiful, or the British say twee. I love it so much. Anyway, so uh, this kimono, which takes a substantial amount, it is like, let's see, yeah, five and seven eighths, or the, uh, or seven and a fourth. So um, I'm able to fit this on this fabric because I'm five three and shrinking. But if you're a taller woman, you're going to need the full um, fabric. And depending upon what you use, you're going to need all of all of that fabric. Anyway, so I just think this turned out so beautifully. My daughter walked past it and she says, oh, mommy. And I was like, OK, there goes another one. <laughs> but I think I'm going to try and hold on to this one because I've got a wedding or two this year. And hopefully they'll come off and I'll have something to wear. Now the next Veronica Tucker um, pattern I did was called the Hazel. And the Hazel can be a blouse or a dress, depending upon if you add that next lower tier to it. Hopefully I'm showing it to you on split screen. I completed this on my vacation retreat in Ocho Rios. It, I did it in this beautiful gingham fabric that I got from Fabric Mart online. Um, it was when they had their dollar something a yard and I got about 10 yards of this spring gingham because I thought it would be great for little girls dresses um, as well as a big girls dress that I got out of here. And I love it. But I find with the very wide bottom dresses, I experienced a breeze. <laughs> a breeze came up and flipped the bottom up and luckily I have boxer underwear. <laughs> so I thought to myself, either I'd add another layer to it, which would make it uh, longer, or maybe it's not for me. But so cute, so pretty, so light, so spring. The color and gathers for days, gathers for days. But that's what makes this such a special dress. Now, once again, this pad this pattern has pockets, and um, 
Yeah, I like a pocket. <laughs> now, do not get rid of any of your scraps because Veronica Tucker has the Frankie bag. Okay, so the Frankie bag comes in two sizes. It comes in this little cutie here. And it also comes in, what did I do with it? All right, hold on a minute. It also comes in a medium to large bag. Now, I love this because you can, depending upon the length of the handle that you put on it, it can become a cross body or it can be um, an, an over the shoulder. It's up to you. You can sew them. This one is a cross body. This one is a little guy. And I have, I cut out a whole bunch for middle, um, middle of the way because I think these are great little gifts to make for people that they will actually use. They'll have, um, and they'll love them. And you can use up great scrap buster. The, now this next Veronica Tucker dress, you're gonna absolutely love. It's free, it's a free PDF. And I'm showing, I'm modeling it over here. It was one of, it was the second dress I made at the, um, at my sewing retreat, uh, my sewing vacation. Um, four rectangles and a French curve. And it's a beauty of a dress. I made mine maxi length. You can choose whatever length you're gonna make it. You can make it shorter, you make it longer. The sweep of it is very elegant. I made it that morning. I wore it to dinner that evening. Um, this fabric I got at uh, Ping's in Montego Bay. Um, the pattern just requires elastic and your fabric. I, it does not come with pockets. I added pockets because I wanted to be able to um, put my cell phone inside and just walk around free as a breeze, and I did. So I think for most sewers, you can choose one of your favorite pockets. I like a pocket that has a long bottom so that my uh, phone can fit inside and you're good to go. All right. Now, the last dress I made is called the Freya dress. Let me see if I can find it here. No, no luck. What did I do with it? Ah, here it is. It's the Freya dress. Okay. You can make it short sleeve, long, uh, you can make it long sleeve. Uh, you can make it uh, shorter sleeved, you can make it into a dress, you can make it into a tunic, you can make it into a blouse. I made it into a dress in this beautiful fabric that I got at Ping's in the bucket. It's the same consistency as the uh, uh, light blue one. I've also done it, um, also got it in brown. Um, hopefully if I have a picture, I'll include beautiful to work with, but they're definitely dress up clothes. And the thing about this dress, you can wear it in either direction. You can wear it with the catch in the front, or you can wear it with the catch in the back. Now, this dress only comes up to size 16, and as I, I'm a 20, um, I have a broad back, and I need a 20, and then I'll scale everything to fit. So I did scale it up, I'm not exactly pleased with it. I have felt myself tugging on the dress. I don't like to tug on my clothes. So I feel like this is going to um, uh, be gifted to one of my one of my daughters who are more narrow up here. I think the color is beautiful. I think these sleeves are exquisite. Now I lined mine in a beautiful chartreuse stretch soft lace that I found at Ping's on the 150, the 94 cents um, section. <laughs> and so um, I really love it. I think I would make it again if it was scaled up like by the designer. If she did a expansion and decided to go up into the 20s, like for, for me, just have to go up a couple more, um, 18, 20, come on. <laughs> Um, I would feel more comfortable, but um, it was a little too close here. I thought I did a good job with measuring, but um, 
I don't like to tug at clothes, but it's a beautiful pattern. The sleeve is to die for. Um, I did not put pockets on this, but I believe pockets were an option on the dress. Um, but all in all, it turned out to be a beautiful dress. All right, so that is five, well, maybe six items if you count the two, bag, two um, bags. That is uh, five items in January. I totally enjoyed making them. I think this designer is lovely. I think what um, she is on maternity leave, but I think you should go over is Veronica Tucker, the label, um, dot com. I think you should go over and check out her patterns if you are like minded or you. Um, I think they're just beautifully romantic and wonderful, and I hope she does more. Um, I'm two weeks away from my first retreat uh, of my hosted by myself in Montego Bay, and I'm very excited. So um, I'm gonna work all the kinks out before <laughs> before next year. All right, I hope you got a chance to sew this past uh, um, January like I did. So um, wishing you all the best. Sew yourself happy, and we'll see you next month on the makes.